Hello and welcome to Excel 2013 Short Guide Charts in Detail. My name is Guy Vaccaro and I'll be taking you through this particular title. So what are we going to cover? Are we going to find out much more about charts than I could ever want to know? Or is it going to be useful for my day-to-day -day use of charts and Excel? Well, let's find out. Firstly, it's useful for us to discuss what is actually a chart. Is it just something that's pretty and colourful and appears in Excel and people go, ooh, I like that? Such as this little example here with lots of little coloured slices, very bright, very cheerful. Or is it more lines that you see drawn from a left-hand side to the right-hand side that show some sales or some kind of information? But it's pretty, it's colourful. Or is it more these columny type things with lots of colours that no one seems to know what they mean? Well, actually, it's all of those things. But most importantly, behind all of that prettiness is the data. All that a chart does in Excel is represent your numbers in some kind of pretty format that hopefully makes the numbers either easier to digest, easier to understand, or more meaningful for people that look at them. Let's find out what we're going to have a look at and work out them. So they're not just pretty, they are functional. And we're going to look at how you determine what the right data is to use for a chart in Excel. How to create a chart very quickly so that you're not bamboozled by all the possible options. It's just a quick one key press to create a chart. We also look at little mini spark lines as an alternative to a full blown chart. The right chart does actually matter. Now, unfortunately, there are lots and lots of different chart types in Excel, but we do go through most of them. There are bar charts, column charts, pie charts, one of my favorite type of charts, as you'll find out as you go through the title. Line charts, radar charts, scatter charts, area charts, surface charts, and finally combo charts. And a combo chart is a chart that uses one or more, well effectively two or more of the above list. So all of these chart types exist in Excel, and it's a matter of choosing the right chart for the right data to get the message across. Having decided on the right chart, there are then still a myriad of other choices to make about the possible chart options. What about the axes, x-axes, y-axes, z-axes? Do we need them? Do we want labels on them? Grid lines, major grid lines, minor grid lines, too many choices to make. Data labels, is the chart obvious enough or do we need to actually repeat some of the data on the chart itself? The location of the chart, does it need its own sheet? Does it want to be a small chart? within the data. The styles that are available are just unbelievable, but you need to make a decision. We could just go plain, normal colors, or we could go inverted, 3D, shadow, choices just fantastic, really. Colors, do we want to stick with the color scheme for the current workbook, or do we want to investigate and create our own colors? The legend, the key, that's important. Do we need a key? Is it obvious? what each of these bars, columns, or lines mean. Trend lines, so we look at how to add in trend lines that effectively interrogate the data that is already on the chart and produce a trend line for it. Adding labels of our own, so not just data labels, but specific labels that we want to add. Objects of other types, such as shapes and pictures, can also be added to charts. For example, you might want to add a corporate logo or you might want to change the background so that it has a faded watermark. All of those things are possible in charts in Excel. We also investigate some of the special chart types. So away from the normal ones that you would expect or see quite frequently, such as bars, column and line charts, we look at pie charts. They are my favorite after all, and all the capabilities that a pie chart can achieve, but also the drawbacks and limitations of a pie chart. We look at pie of a pie which allows you to have two pie charts where one pie chart is actually the breakdown of one of the slices of the big pie chart, as you can see here. We look at combo charts, so that's joining two types of chart in the same chart and having a second scale. So here we've got columns for some data, but then line for another. Stock charts, so that you can effectively map how your stock values are doing. So here in this chart, we're looking at volumes bought or sold, and then the high and the low points for your stock on a given day. Radar charts, very pretty, but once you understand their makeup, they can be quite useful for interrogating data. And the fantastic scatter chart. 
Looking at them as they are, they make very little sense, but as soon as they're explained, you suddenly recognise the potential of a good scatter chart. Well, hopefully you are going to already have enjoyed this Excel charts in detail, as well as the ability to create charts, manipulate those charts and make them look pretty and use all the chart types that are available in Excel. We also look at how to print charts out, probably one of the easiest things to print in Excel, and also making use of your charts in other applications, such as a Word document or even a PowerPoint presentation. Hopefully you've enjoyed or will enjoy this nice little Excel charts in detail title. But if you have any queries at all or questions or comments, then feel free to contact me using my email address training at nybytes.co.uk and have fun.